Uh, Juliana, obviously you expressed you know, your disappointment not being able to fight on this card, but you'll be there cage side. Give us the breakdown. How do you think this goes tomorrow night between Amanda and Irina? Irene better not harm one hair on that girl's head because I want my trilogy. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> have you heard Amanda this week? She's been taking kind of pot shots at you at pretty much every opportunity. Uh, what do you think that's all about? I just... <laughs> It cracks me up, honestly. I think I saw in a clip she said, I can kick her ass anytime I want, except for the time that you couldn't and that it really counted. So I really don't know what she's talking about. As far as I'm concerned, we're one and one, and I actually have a leg up on her because I was not stopped, I was not finished, I was never down and out. Like Rocky said, it's not about how many times you get hit, it's about how many times you get hit and keep coming forward. And she did not stop me. I was able to stop her, I was able to put her in the hospital, and and nobody else can say that. So I definitely think that I've been hearing, I said on Ariel that she was one foot out the door already and that she was already planning her retirement and, and going off into the sunset. And, and not if I have my way, absolutely not. Um, I'm not done with her, this is unfinished business and I'm actually here to make sure that from 9 to 10 p.m. tomorrow on Saturday, only from 9 to 10 p.m. on Saturday, not 10.01, from 9 to 10, I will be rooting for Amanda Nunes. I will be her one biggest fan in the world. And after that, you're gonna see the biggest turncoat you've ever seen. Pulling for Amanda Nunes tomorrow night, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, okay, so she pulled out of the fight the first time and obviously we waited, you know, six more months until that fight could occur. I needed six weeks maybe eight for the, for the grappling, but either way, I messed up. I have a lot of integrity, a lot of honesty, and right when I got injured, I called the machine, and I told them, hey, I, I broke a rib, I'm out. I should have waited for Irene and Rocky to fight, and then they would have not been able to find a replacement on two weeks notice for Amanda so that she wouldn't have had any choice but to fight me and push the fight back out um, later. But that's not the way that it works. My integrity got in the way and you know they, they replaced me right away. And uh, it's a bummer that I lost that fight. But like I've said a million times, we're one and one. There's unfinished business there. And yes, from the hours of nine to 10, I will be Amanda's biggest fan. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I got complaints in my apartment. When you won, like the whole building was going crazy. <laughs> me, me not being mean towards you, but I was like, man, Amanda has been super dominating. And then you start landing. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. And then the, the crowd just, everybody in the apartment exploded. So yeah, it was a wonderful night for you. But notice, like you say, dominating. Yes, she has been dominating. And I would never want to take away from, you know, what she's accomplished in the sport. But Rhonda had such a massive following. She was main eventing everything. And then if you go to Amanda's last seven fights, she's only main evented twice. One of them was because of an injury. I think Aldo came out on injury and the second one was me. And this third one was going to be me, but I had to fall out due to, to injury myself. I mean, me beating her made her relevant again because she hasn't had the ability to main event in any of her title fights in the last seven literally only two main events I mean I, I just think if you look at the countdown numbers if you look at the embedded numbers I mean the co-main event has seven times more views than Amanda's and she's the main event you know so she she, she can't draw flies I'm just saying Akash Narwhal from Counterhook MMA I was at the first fight Juliana versus Nunes where you shocked the world what would you do in a rematch to reshock the world against Nunes? You know, I, I can say that mentally the fight for me was lost in the first 10 seconds of the fight because I was thrown for a complete loop. And I think that it's funny that she says I can kick her ass at any time, blah, 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 and I could have done all this. It was like, the fact is this, here's the reality. You had to fire your entire team and then you had to quit your gym and change your entire fighting style in order to beat me. You had to revamp everything and I wasn't, I wasn't on it. She caught me off guard. I knew that that fight was lost in the first 10 seconds because I was completely shell-shocked right away when she came out of Southpaw and uh, I wasn't ever to able to make the adjustments. Next time I will be ready if she comes out Southpaw, orthodox, standing on her head, walking on her tippy toes, whatever you want to call it, I will be ready absolutely. There's no doubt about it. Did you do the trilogy with Amanda first or fight Aldana for the title? Um, at the end of the day, it boils down to um, 
obviously holding the belt, but then there's also something about legacy that's a really uh, difficult question. You know, I was a little bit offended, hurt that like I came out on an injury and like I thought me and Irene were cool. She didn't even call me, ask me if I was okay. She didn't ask like, do you need anything? No, she just swooped in and took my fight and I was like, what the heck? Like, that's, that's fighting. I, I, that's a reason to want to fight her. So if... Uh, I'm Sorry, you're upset she didn't come with flowers to your front door? Yeah, I mean, what? You don't even ask if I'm okay and then take my fight? What the heck kind of friend is that? I thought we were cool. Um, but no, I'm kidding. Um, I, I want to fight for the belt. That's the only thing that matters. It's about legacy. But at the same time, I think that for the fans, you know, being one and one, uh, the trilogy is also something that's always going to be on my sights. And right now, that's the only thing that, that I see happening. When you're one and one in Rochambeau or, you know, rock, paper, scissors, you guys just stop. You're just like, we're one and one. Like, we don't, we don't, no. You go best two out of three, you know? So for me, it's about getting that fight.